Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kings and queens, apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, bishops, welcome to Royal Generation Body Christ Believers International Incorporated. You are truly served as Chief Apostle and Presiding Prelate and Dr. Lamont Robinson. Giving you some quick announcements. Saturday, 11 a.m. is Sabbath class. 12.30, Divine Worship. Sunday, 8 p.m. is Prophetic Hour. Thursdays, 8 p.m. is Prayer Meeting. Conference call is 978-990-5000. Ask code at 442 pound sign. Amen. Email is Royal Generation Worldwide at gmail.com April 29th 2023 at 3.30pm is a prophetic amen encounter with Prophet Shelton Spence all are welcome to come on out and celebrate with us amen at the 112-06 Farmers Boulevard St. Albans, New York 11412 Amen With a fire is burning This is a holiness church Sanctified Amen Experience miracles, signs and wonders Breakthrough deliverance Amen Invite a family and a friend Affirmation Installation service will begin that day Amen We ask all visiting the clergy to be in Pacific Attire A and B class and man, 245 will be having possession. Amen. Man, congratulations to all the candidates that are being elevated. Amen. So please keep these announcements in mind. Amen. We honor Apostle Paul Smith, who is our first presiding. Amen. Prelay. Amen. Apostle Pinot Burns. Amen. Like Mike, what's up, man? How are you? Amen. God bless you, Elder Jason. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Pastor Isaiah. Amen. To all the apostolic leaders here around the world. To all our young caddies. Amen. To all the young people. To our mothers. Amen. To every denomination. From the five boroughs. Amen. Please state your first and last name. Let me know who you are, your ministry name, and thank you again for taking your time out in your schedule. Amen. To, to chime in and fellowship with us online. And thank you for being in our acquaintance. To God be the glory for, for the wonderful things that the Lord is doing in our lives. I want to share some things with you people of the Lord around the world. You reap what you sow. Amen. Keep on living and doing the work of God in the ministry of God. Some of you are going through demonic, amen, activities. Some of you are going through trial, tribulation, persecutions. Amen. Persecutions and Amen. In ministry, and you're going through a lot. The demons, these the enemies, been trying to attack you through people. Because really, God, in reverse, because Luke chapter 10, verse 19 said, Behold, I give unto your power. Tread of a serpent to scorpion over the power of the enemy. So, God is really trying to tell you, as a people, Amen. Because He is, He made, He the creator, Amen, of heaven's earth. He's the creator of evil and good. Amen. He is the devil boss. He is the head of all principalities and, and powers. You know, God, you know, is in charge. He's in control. So God is saying to you, through all that you're going through, who would you serve? Who is your master? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Because you all know that you are 
a part of God's kingdom. Amen. God's hand is on some of your lives. Stop keep saying, oh, the devil do it to me. Just say, God, I thank you that I'm giving you glory through all I'm going through. I'm worshiping you. I'm giving you praise. I'm giving you glory. Magnify him. Glorify him. Give him glory. Stop complaining. Stop letting nigga negative influence. You wake up angry. You wake up enraged. Let the thought that the enemy, that's what enemy, God is trying to tell you. Let these things go. Let me handle it. Let me handle your situation. Because it seems like you're, it's not going smoothly as you want it to go. Some of you have been to some psychotic atmospheres. Some of you have been in baby mama drama. Some of you have been fighting back and forth. Amen. With your husband and your wife. Disagreement. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of you have been fighting back and forth and back and forth. The arguments, the, the rage, and a lot of you going through a lot of situations. I mean, back and forth to court for your court case. And, you know, your custody's over your your baby mama, your custody's over your son, your daughter. Some of you going back and forth to court. Amen. For uh, lawsuiting and lettering and Amen. And you had a case of, you know, you try to tackle officer or different things like that. I don't know why I'm saying this way. Some of you have people are getting your nerve and different things like that. And you got arrested because you got caught with something in your pocket. You know, they, they caught you. And I, I, the spirit, I'm saying, tell me you're going back and forth to court. Amen. Some of you are arguing. There's a lot of this. There's some games going on in your lives. Baby mama drama. Issues financially, you're trying to find an apartment. God's gonna give it to you. God's gonna give it to you. He's gonna give you your heart desire. He's gonna give you the apartment. If you're going through drama with your sons and daughters, some of your families are incarcerated. Been serving 50 years or 20 years or 35 years in prison. God is bringing that home with jobs, with opportunities. Some of you that are listening to this broadcast. Some of you are musical talented. You are incoming rapping artists and R&B and you be in the studio a lot. And God is gonna use your, your music is gonna span growth, millions, billions, we'll know you. You don't have to sleep in the bed, amen, to be well known. Let your light shine before men, they, not, they might see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. You don't have to do these things. God will make your name great before mighty men of God. Amen. Some of you are incoming actors, actors, actors and celebrities and models. Do what you have to do, protect yourself. Don't let nobody use you out here in these streets. Amen. For your body or for your vagina or your dick part or whatever. No, 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 no. You're not garbage. You're, you're, you're not. Don't let people take advantage of you or make a jack ass out of you. No, you're not. You are more than a conqueror. You're a king. You're a queen. You're not the low gate. You are a champion. You are a winner. Amen. Don't let no negative energy from other people. You not do you. You don't slip them things. You don't play them games. And be very careful on these destinations and places you go at between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the morning. I have to learn that myself. Well, I got to answer it. No, after them hours, them are booty call hours right now, people. Between you know, after booty call hours, sexually hours, you're trying to create your sexually urges. No. Another thing is don't force religion on people. If they don't like you, I don't care, oh, I like him or that shit. I don't care if you're gay, you're straight. I don't care what you are. Don't force yourself on people. You keep constantly, it's like a back and forth thing. Some of you are just going through issues. You have, you, you are, you're like, you're like females and, ugh. God will give you the right thing. Control your manhood. Control your womanhood. Listen, focus on them books. Like, focus on your music. Amen. You know? And let me drop it to do, man, is it's a still kill and destroy. Be careful who's slapping drinks with you too. 
be careful slapping drinks with you too because some of these folks, some of these folks is not legit. People smiling at faith. Oh, what's up, bro? People smiling at faith, but they try to swap you. Be careful with that, man. I'm showing you an example. Be careful of that. You know, the wrong with you know the wrong with you enjoying your life. But you know, sometimes you gotta just speak to yourself. You understand? Amen. So no wrong with having fun, but keep it keep keep your hands clean, stay clear. You know? Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me? Y'all dig? Y'all dig? Y'all feel this? A gushy? Y'all feel it? I'm going to share this. I'm doing something different tonight. Amen. So, amen. God is about God to do some things in your life, but God don't want people to use us. So that's what the enemy's job is to do. It's, it's do. It's use you. Amen. So I hope you all understand. Amen. That um, the enemy job is to do it to steal, kill, and destroy. So he used people, amen, to tempt you. Amen. If you fall into the trap, you obey the enemy. It's God is trying to tell you who's your master. You're not garbage. You're a king and a queen. Don't let people take advantage of you. People speak with that strange thing, waved about them, sneaky smile that cannot even look. Watch them, people. They're smiling and fake and tell you, oh, I'm your friend. No, watch them. Because some people only want money. They want who you connected to. Or are they just there for love? Yeah, feel me. It's, too, it's some people that's wax cold. They really don't love. They only love what they can get out of you. And then when, they, when you don't dance to their music, they don't know you no more. God is trying to reveal people true to y'all. Amen. Each one of your lives is going to grow. Whoever is pushing you for, keep them. If these people, some people are leeches, I will let them people go. If they're not promoting the, the, your life or where God is about to take you, I will let these people go. I we seek the Lord's face. Amen. When you wake up on the glorious day, which is Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, however you worship the Lord. I mean, I don't discriminate nobody's denominations. We don't discriminate people there. However you worship God, you worship God. Give them, get, get, go all in, please. Yes. Go all in, please. Go all in. Enjoy life. Enjoy yourself. Take yourself out. Pamper yourself. Or go to, go to the, uh, to the, to the mall or to the beach or Jamaica or get a manicure and enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. Everything is not wrapped. And everything is not wrapped. Always around ministry. God wants you to enjoy your life. He wants you to have freedom of freedom of enjoying your life. No pressure, no strain. Relax yourself. Self-control. Self-control, people. Keep your hands to yourself. And man, you have nothing good to say about anybody. Shake your mouth. That's what's gonna get you in trouble out here in the streets when you keep running your mouth. Just close your mouth and let God be God. Amen. Man, this is no game here. This is this is real business. Like you're dealing with real demons. Be careful how you come at people in ministry. Because everything you dish out is going to come right back to you. It may not come right back to you right now. But you keep living. You keep living. It's going to come right back to you. If you sow dirt, you're going to get dirt. If you sow evil, you're going to get evil. So don't mistreat anybody financially or spiritually. No more making promises to anybody. Don't fly up against them. Just shake your mouth. Listen. And say, some of you are beginning ministries. You don't have to copyright anybody else. Just be the vision that God has for you. God got some great properties and destination. He got some support that's going to come to you. And God is going to send you members. You don't have to be like Sister Susie Church or Sister Waterman Church. You don't know what it took for them to get what they got right now, brothers, sisters. Come on here. Oh, what did we come for God's sanctuary to do? Because she got a, or they got a good musician. Oh, their choir is good. Oh, they got a lot of followers of people. 
We come for God. We don't come for numbers. We don't come to see how many people are there. Oh, the bishop is there. Oh, I'm not coming back at the bishop ain't there. I'm not coming back. No, you don't come for people. You don't come for preachers. You come to worship God. That's what we come for. Stop saying me, myself, and I. That's an ego, prideful mentality. And you got that in ministry today. Everybody keeps saying my church, my people. Nobody belongs to you, but they belongs to God. You're just you're just doing the work of God. As many gods on earth working of the kingdom. Keep keep saying we glorify God in the sanctuary of the Lord. We glorify him in all things. Point blank and period. Stop glorifying self and glorify God. Amen. Because God is in charge. There's a move of God that's getting ready to happen in America. But we as a people got to come together. It's too much anger, bitterness, and jealousy, and, and competition, and, and me, myself, and I, and my throne, my this, or you trespassing on my territory, or my jurisdiction, you're trying to tear my kingdom down. We are doing the work of the Lord. I don't care what age you are. We are doing the work of God to work the work of God to build kingdom. We're building each other up so we can prepare for that great glorious day in the heavens. But we got to get here first. Please help me here. There's too much of competition in me, myself, and I, and my throne stop that the pride of ego let's leave it at the door and let's start worshiping and praising god that's what you come for you don't come for self and me myself and i listen each one of you have here each one of you have non-profit organizations you should have some job programs in your ministries to God be the glory to help people, fund people to have jobs, music, opportunities, arts, whatever. Each fund people in the ministry of God. You got people that like to draw and write and poet. People that make music. Amen. People are inspirators and inspirational speakers. Whoever God put in your life, listen, use it to the glory of God. But treat them right. Amen. From the pulpit to the door. We give on somebody on the outside, and you're supposed to be you're supposed to be bishops and apostles. We give people on the outside five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. But why we can't give our own people something? But when you do these things, when you do these things in God's sanctuary, when you give financially, you give from your heart. But don't give it because the bishop or the apostle told you to give it. You believe God that God gonna work a miracle in your life. And don't use your prophetic gift for craft. Use it to glorify God. Yes, yeah, God wants us to walk in prosperity. God wants us to walk in good health and strength. But let's do it right. From the pulpit to the door. Amen. In the spiritual realm, I'm gonna say it again. In the spiritual realm, you are apostles and prophets. But there is a level that all of us have to go, being trained. Amen. I'm going to say this again. Amen. If somebody asks you to pray, you pray. Somebody asks you to read the scripture, you read the scripture. Somebody asks you to sing, you sing. You give your remarks and you have a seat. Some of us haven't been trained yet. We're going to do any out of order thing and think it's correct. It's incorrect. Amen. If somebody told you to have words, you have words and you have a seat. From the pulpit to the door. Amen. We don't preach behind the preacher here. Whatever we do, we glorify God. Amen. Amen. We don't use or abuse people here. We don't do none of that here. Amen. There's no little eyes of the use. See, everybody get treated respectfully the same way. See, I respect the child the same way I respect you. So let's start respecting people. No favoritism in ministry. that do things correct in order. If you have anything you want to say about anybody, you go to them. 
Amen. I don't care if these preachers affirm you. Amen. If somebody told you to have words, you have words, you have a seat, and you hush and you shut up and do what you have to do. Amen. There's an order in ministry. Amen. So this year is going to be a great shifting in ministry. I have no tolerance level for stupidity. If you're going to be stupid, stay away from me. If you're going to be productively, if you want to grow and mature in a level, I will, I will I freak with you. But if, you, or if you're all over the place and some people say, I want to be apostles, I want to be prophets, sit under somebody and learn and let me do it. Because this ain't no game here. These are God's gifts. This ain't no game. And people can say, I want to be a bishop. How you want something that you that you already got is made by man? Be a servant. Serve God. Give him glory. Not for all this scamming and scamming and, and conniving and usury and different things like that. What's up, brother? Yo, what's the word, bro? What do you mean? Everything, thirty. What you talking about? What's the topic? The topic was well, the topic, my brother. It's called legitimate presence. That's what we call it here. I can break it down for you if you like. So listen. We gotta do things legit here, man. Each, every person, every person. Has a non-profit organization. You know what I mean, cuz. Everybody have a non-profit organization. We should have some programs we doing for the community so we can help people get jobs. Why they should go to the government when we have non-profit organizations in the community? Why well, should we do it? Why do you send them over to the government and we are... Pro are we are, our, I don't have to say church, but it is a, it, 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 it is a non-profit organization. If you got a non-profit organization, you have enough, if you have connection with people, you can get some properties in your ministries, amen, to help fund and get these people jobs. God bless your apostle Moss. Amen. Is I'm telling the truth, bro? Come on now. Now nah, you're right. Are you, are you religious? What type of religion are you a part of? We are non we non-denominational, cuz. We non-denominational king. Okay. Nah, I'm Muslim. That's what I'm saying, bro. Well, look, listen, listen, look, I got listen, you you right now, we got some Muslims on here, we got some different people on there, but I don't discriminate nobody religion, cuz. I don't, bro. I really don't, bro. I don't. Okay. That's why soccer. We are at um 112-06 Promise Boulevard. Who's that? What's Queens. That's in Queens. Oh, that's in Queens. That's yeah, it's in Queens. Um, you got a um, you you got Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, send me um, send me um a request. I'm gonna send you my I'm gonna send you my cell phone number, okay? Alright, send us, send us. But yeah, I ain't gonna hold you though. Like, it's a lot of shit that's going on that niggas, you know, people ain't aware about. That they should be taking advantage of, like, you feel me? You got it. You, most you asked me, hold me. You asked me a how I'm a don. I'm a non-denominational, bro. I don't worship. I don't have no code here. I don't worship no man, bro. I'm a firm apostle and a bishop, and I say in front of my boy from the hood. I don't worship nobody. I'm a non-denominational ministry, man. I nah, worship. I, I, respect, I, respect I don't. I don't. I don't believe that we should be. I don't believe. I don't believe in cults, my brother. I don't believe in cults, cause. I'm not going to write that, but not being a non-believer, it's something like you at least gotta believe in something, though. You heard? No, yeah, we believe in God. Yes, that's fine and good. That's okay. beautiful. You know stuff like that, but I don't pit nobody above Him, the Most High God. Yeah. As y'all say in the Shahada. Do you know about the Hebrews? Well, you gotta. I'm listening. Okay, basically the Hebrews, those was like basically saying it like they the first to touch the earth, period, you heard? 
Mm. Right. Shit is, uh, that's a whole other topic, though. But like, you're like, but touching on Muslim, bro, like I said, you you in tune. You know what's going on. So, like, why you ain't never take your shahada? Uh, my cousin tried to give me do my shahada, but I told him, I said, I never thought about it. Because he said to me, like, I was going to be a straight... He said to me, because he don't, I asked him, how you do it? He said, we straight vegan. We don't have, I said, excuse me? No, you can eat, you can eat beef like for me. I mean, you can eat beef But the way he's doing it, it make you, bro. I'm a, uh, I never thought about, I've been to the mosque before, but I thought about. Yo. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm just. I'm a different individual, bro. I'm, I'm a totally different. Individual. You got um. Text me your um. I'm gonna text you my Facebook and my uh, my number, okay? You can't. You right. You got me, bro. Yeah, big facts. We gonna connect, man. Come over to Queens, man. Everybody that is watching this broadcast, this is a different kind of a breeze of a broadcast. My home bit, my boy here. If you're looking for entertainment, you're in the wrong section. You're in the wrong channel. We don't believe in tradition. I don't believe in cults. We worship God and spirit and in truth. That's it. And we believe in reality. Shame. Tell the truth. Shame a devil. Each one of you are gods on the earth, so you really got the power to gain wealth. Hello? Say it again. Hear me? Say it again. I can't hear you, cuz. Let me bring you back on, bro. Bring you back in. Let me bring you back in. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I keep it I keep it a buck with you, people. I keep it a buck with you. When you come out of these cults and you come into God and you worship God, you get all about God, then you will see the greatest manifestation. Each one of you have power to gain wealth. Each one of you have the power to gain wealth. Why are we control mind control stuff? Stop it. All this mind control crap. Stop, bro. Yo. Yo. Yo, know, boss, I'm telling you the truth, bro. I'm telling the factual truth, bro. Yeah. This is how I'm trying to break down with you. At the end of the day, the TV, everything you watching, this shit is controlled by the government. At the end of the day, people believe in whatever they see. This is why I don't believe in nothing I see and half of what I hear. No, no, hold on. I don't believe in nothing I hear and half of what I see. Because even perception is a lie. You understand? I can see a nigga driving in a nice foreign car with a chain, but that shit could be his brother or his uncle, right? So, at the end of the day, bro, you can't believe in nothing you see as well. That's why when people ask me, oh, who's your covering? Cry God, my most high. That's who covers me. Hello? That's who covers me. I don't I don't worship being. No, I'm not a part of nobody's society. I'm not, a, I'm not under no society. I'm under God. That's all I'm about is God. If you're about some other bull crap crap, get away from me. Cause they don't they don't want they don't want this, bro. They don't want this. Cause I don't pit no people don't understand the white man used Christianity hey, what's up? for population for population control. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, my control crap. People mind they mind they you know what it is? People are they are, they are control by people and possessive and I mean it bro it's deep. You got people well, could That's what I'm trying to tell you, the government's so slick. They will use nine eleven and act like the Muslims have something to do with that so people won't turn Muslim. You understand what's going on? Yeah. Nigga, the Muslims had nothing to do with that. Oh hell no. That's the government has something to do with that. My nigga, why was it bombs found at the bottom? of the World Space Center. 
Somebody had to put that there, you heard? It's a fact, bro. It's a fact. That's why when people, yeah. And I, I don't know why it's TV, bro, cuz. I don't. Nigga, this shit is deeper than rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I try to tell my bro. Can't get too deep in this shit, you heard? Yeah, cause I don't want I don't I don't even want I don't even watch TV, man. Cause what is, what is, what is what is what is I'm what is I'm gaining out of that? Bro, I don't watch TV either. If I do watch, I'm watching CNN. But that's the closest thing that's the realest the news that's gonna give you. But yeah, I don't watch TV either, bro. That's no, cause it, it, like I said, what are you what are you what are you pocketing your pocket for? You watching somebody else win a uh, win a fortune? In Jeopardy? Listen, nigga, look, look, they don't got Ferrari on Lamborghini commercials. So them niggas ain't watching commercials that's dropping them type of cars, bro. So, this I'm trying to make, you understand me, big bro? I feel you, bro. Commercials, uh, that's I'm getting paid for this commercial. Yeah, can you watch oh, somebody else up there, uh, 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 go on World of Fortune up there? Oh, you, you're the big winner. You watch this American Idol. You ain't up there, dude. You ain't winning no money. You ain't up there winning absolutely nothing. So I, I don't watch TV. Look, we don't want to have. We don't. We can't. I can't afford TV. So you know what I do? I got the tablet. I don't even. I don't play video games. I do none of that. You you come up in my play. You would not see a video game. You would not see it. I don't believe video game. I don't believe in TV. Now I might watch it. You know. Oh, geez, they tap in. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, even with the non-profit, my cousin, he got one of, he got like a non-profit, like, he out there in fucking, um, Orlando, Florida, like, that non-profit shit is definitely like a lot of benefits and shit you could eat off of that road. So you, yeah. That's why I said, that's why I want to build some jobs for the ministry. I'm tired of people going outside the government where we as a people I don't I'm gonna let you know people I don't get paid no tithes and offerings here they don't pay me here they do not pay me cuz they don't pay me nothing I do it from my heart now once again they might give me appreciation service or whatever but I don't get paid for it I don't do it for my I'm, I love my peoples bro come on brother for what we should you all I'm gonna say it again bro and y'all don't like me I don't care you have a non-profit organization. Some of you here should be having some programs in your organization to help people that's less fortunate than you are, than you going home with the money. Well, you should distribute some of that money over to help your people. You don't like me. I don't care. Each one of you have a non-profit organization. You should be helping people. If somebody come to you and say they're hungry, you're going to say, oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I'm gonna give you a dollar. What? And you got a you got a couple hundred in your pocket, bro. But you can pick these niggas in the hotel. And you want them in while you're still struggling. You got three five five hundred dollars. Now you down to zero because you didn't do right by the people. And people wondering, man, karma is karma. So you do wrong, somebody gonna do you wrong. You keep on living. Right. And it's not even your money. It's the government money. That's the thing, bro. It's a lot of the loans. A lot of shit people not have been taking advantage of. Everybody think about the PPP loans, but there's two other loans and grants that's going on, you heard? Yeah, I, I, and I'm gonna tell people, I tell you, oh, Lamont, Come on, I'm not joining nobody's denomination. I help you out and you whatever you need me to help you with. I don't want to join no cult. I'm not looking. We, we don't. I'm not looking to. You not even do. Oh, come over here. You recruiting people for what? What are you offering these people? They come in and sitting your service. What are you offering these people? People, come on. Getting people something to believe in again. What you offering people, bro? I'm telling the truth, bro. What they offering them? So, what, do, what religion you consider yourself? You Catholic? I'm not Catholic, bro. We Pentecostals, bro. You said you ain't nothing, right? I ain't nothing, but I don't even believe in Pentecostals. I just believe that we all are believers of Christ, man. That's what I believe. We all what believers, you believe, man. You believe in 
believe in that crisis God? Well, I believe that we are all created by Him, so we are gods on the earth. But I believe. So you believe that Christ is God? That Jesus is God? Yeah. But who created Jesus then? If Jesus is God, who created Jesus then? Born again. Well, you gotta believe first. So consciously, you gotta believe. Oh yeah, absolutely. You gotta believe. Now I'm gonna tell you. I ain't tell you believe in no uh no tri no coat. Let's get it straight here. I don't. I believe that every day we live, brother, we live in a reality. You live what, every. That, do you know about the disciples? Explain. Come on, preacher. Explain to us. You claim you're a minister, so I'm asking No, you. I, I want you to answer that question. Okay, Jesus had 13 disciples, right? Yes. All of them was males, right? Yeah. No, all of them wasn't. One of them was a female. Okay. You you know the female name? I can't. I was. If I say that to you, I'd be lying to you on this broadcast. I'd be lying to you. Um, her name was Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. You know that? You ever heard that name before? Yes, I have. I'm saying you gotta do your research, though. When you um, when you come back to Queens, bro. Um, I'm gonna text your app is live streaming as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna text you. I text you my uh, direct number. I text you my Facebook. Okay. Send them more. Send them more. Let's link. Let's link up and let's do some things for the community. Okay. Send them more. Let's let's make let's 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 touch this community, impact the community, give them reality. Say it again. March? No, it's March. Well, what kind of holiday coming up? Um, I don't even know. Let me check my calendar. Let's see something. Um, what's that damn calendar? Uh, right here. Excuse me. Um, let's see something here. Um, calendar is March. Um, the next holiday is not spring break. I don't think we have any holidays here. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me stop. Day, daytime savings. What about after that? After spring break? Um, starting. Nothing else about this. That's it. Just. Alright, brother. We gonna figure something out. We gonna figure something out. I know. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Out. I know. March. I know March, um, March 11, um, I can't do March 11 because I got it. My sister's birthday is on March the right. 11th, huh? Anything next, anything next month, brother. That's, that, that's fine, that's month. fine. Long, long as it's in between, we'll work something now because maybe I can have you come over here. Now, you know, um, now you know I like to eat, bro, so I hope you're ready to eat. Nah, fact, fact, fact. Long as it ain't no pork, I don't eat no pork. Okay, what about um, BBQs? Yeah, yeah, that's regular. They can do BBQs, that's regular. Okay, don't bring but nobody with you. I want you to come. I ain't got no money for nobody else. I want you, you to gotta, come. You gotta, you gotta do your research and look up Hebrews and look up Muslims, you right? I look it up. Cause I, had, I had a, um, I had a uh, Quran, but I lost it. You ever heard of a book called Behold the Phil Hall? No, I haven't looked it up. I look it up. They still, cause you know what the big issue? Ever since that time, they've been trying to say there's some missing books of Joshua and different things like that. You know. And the Bible is missing like ten stories, ten different verses. Cause my boy was saying to me, my boy was saying, my boy was saying to me, ain't like should, should Revelation be like the first book of before Genesis? That's what I'm saying. Like, 
that's the thing. And that's the thing. The Old Testament, okay, people should follow that if you're a Christian. Why are you going to follow the New Testament that another man wrote and changed what was in the Bible? There's something I, I do my read. That's why I have. That's why I do read from different translations, just to get a clear understanding when I'm reading. Because sometimes there's something I'm missing. I even, I was so deep in the Bible, bro. I even found scriptures that people don't read in ministry. And I told a priest, he said, "You a liar." I said, "I can show. I can show it to you the Bible. What well, you don't teach in your church, because you can't tell me." He said, "Oh, I said, you know the Bible says abusing the gospel of Christ for your own advantage." But they don't see that. They think I'm lying to them. I said I can show you in the Bible. He was a boomer. I was just a minister the other day talking this ah ah. I'm like yo, bro. I understand the way, but what they follow, he was Jehovah Witness. I said what what they follow is accurate though. It's accurate though because they don't believe in Jesus Christ is uh God or anything like that. They believe he's a prophet, which he was. Not a God, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, I had an issue. I'm going to tell you something. When I was on Jamaica Avenue, right, cuz? I was on Jamaica Avenue, right? So the latter, so the latter day saints, right, was talking to my, I was talking to my boy, right? So the latter day saints, like, they they walked, they walked up, they walked up on, they walked up on, on me when I'm talking to my boy, right? And my boy was, they would say, oh, why don't you come over to the church? That is not how you evangelize. And my man was feeling uncomfortable, bro. My man told him, like, they mad annoying. He felt very, he felt very uncomfortable. So you know what I did? I just, I just told, I told my man, I told him, I said, bro, I'll hit you up later. I'll talk to you later. They kept on going on. And my man was like, his whole face impression changed, like, like, get away from me. Like, why you keep talking to me? And that's what it is. You can't do stuff. If somebody telling you I'm good, I'm not coming. Like, cause even my man outside talking to this white guy, telling the guy up there, God telling, him, I want you to come and trade. The guy, my man was telling him, what can you teach me? Cause you a white one well, boy. What can you teach me? Right. What can you teach right. me? We're talking about legitimate here. What can you teach me? Man can tell me. He said, what can you teach me? He's a white boy. Understand. He told he don't know nothing yeah. about the streets at all. Don't know what's going on right now. He told my about you teacher, what can you give them? What experiences did you have? You can't go buy copyright somebody else's experiences and say, oh, uh, I remember when my mama did this. No, what experiences that the most high took you through so you can offer me something so I can believe in what you're talking about? You have to yeah. talking some hoopla yeah. stuff, bro. Right, 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 right. I don't know what you're talking about. That's why people don't like me. Yeah. A lot of people, they follow the religion that their family is, and don't do no. They were raised in religion. You try to carry that same mentality to somebody else, and these niggas they ain't gonna receive that stuff. They said, "Get away from me," because they said, "I already know what time it is. I already know what time it is right now." Oh yeah, but nigga ain't. Trying to bring nothing to the table, it's like my nigga. What you, you, what you around for, bro? You trying to soak up a nigga energy, nigga? You can stay away, you heard? That's why people say like, bro, get away from me. Cause why? Cause what are you offering people? What are you offering them jobs? Like, yeah, you know, people say you don't, you don't have to force it to crew people. Come on, with, no, that's not how you do this crap. That's not how you do it. And you wondering why Negroes out there curse you out? You do different things up there, cause you know why? Cause your approach to them come like you trying to you trying to force me to join a cult or something? If you trying to ask me to join a cult, yeah, it will confuse them. Okay, I don't know what's type, what's what's popping, bro. Yeah, what's good, five? What's goody, bro? My son, five. What's good, bro? You know, I'm a nigga. I know. I'm a. I talk real talk, here, real talk here, bro. Real talk here, man. I don't deal with that cult stuff here, man. We don't deal with that here, man. We, now, now, when you say a cult, a cult is anything meaning like an organization, a gang. That's a cult, you understand? So, that's a religion, that's a gang, that's whatever, you feel me, a cult. Yeah, man. And I that's try... It. You ever saw the movie, The Book? You ever saw the movie, The Book of Eli? Mmm, I never did it. I don't think I did it. 
Washington? No, I don't think I did it. I don't know. Uh, you, need to, you need to tap into that. But basically, Denzel Washington had the Bible. So, the white nigga in the movie so, wanted bro. the Bible from Denzel, but Denzel wasn't trying to give it to him. Yo, so ho- Denzel, if he gave it to him, the nigga was going to control Yo, Fox, you, you hear this? You hear this? Get, hold me. You hear this real talk? You hear that? Yeah. We talking about real legitimacy. I don't... I told my mans. Everybody here... It's my man told. Everybody here have a non-profit... That said non-profit whatever organization. You should have some kind of thing to offer your community, not people that's poured into you. Don't the Bible say you reap but you so high you expect to, to reap something that you don't know how to sow to your people. Oh. That's deep for you. You ain't hear that again. How you expect to reap something and you don't know how to sow that's something? Fair. I don't know how I see these million dollar rappers as black as being it. And then they're spending they black too. And you still got Africans and African starving or homeless people. These niggas up M, nigga up. Come on, my nigga. Yeah, man. They 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 want to. It's all about your king. Comment on that. How you feel about that? I don't know what's going on. Baby. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. We talking about legitimate. Everybody have a nonprofit. You hear me? Everybody have a non-profit organization. You should have some kind of programs around your community to help these people get jobs. You should have some grant money. If somebody comes to you hungry, need clothes, need a place to stay, you should have some kind of programs or job programs or apartment complexes. Do you know that we as the black people can also have power to gain wealth? We have the power to change the world. Where's your power, people? Where's your impact at, people? Come on. And I'm not discriminating people's race. I'm saying we on this here. We as a people, we can touch the world, man. Come on, come on, comment. What's going on? They sleep right now. Oh. They sleep right now. I'm up right now. Say it again. It's sleep right now, and I'm up right now. It is 12 o'clock in the afternoon, everybody gonna come. Well, I'm up, man. I'm up, too, bro. So what's happening, man? What's up, man? I haven't heard from you. You been good? Yeah, I've been good and all that. I got my, I got my spot and all that. Congratulations to you, man. Yeah, I'm on Hustle Point right now. Okay, you, oh, okay. So listen, when, when are we gonna, you know, you know I got, you know I got I'm this. I'm in, I'm in the strip club. <laughs> this nigga's stupid. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just, uh, I'm um, just chilling today. Yeah, I see you got a haircut and all that. Yeah, my boy was telling me, thank God he got a haircut. I said, leave me Yo, alone. Yo, me too. Me too. Thank God. You got a haircut. Thank God. Hallelujah. It's going to rain today. <laughs> you stupid, bro. Well, it, it look good, though. It look good, though. You heard? I try to be, man. Um, I got I to get this head that way. Oh, it's all right. Why you look like a look a little more rough? Why don't you just get? Why don't you just get um? What do you call them things up there? Like you know, how you go down like that, like that. Yeah. You know. It's you, locked. It's locked. It's over. It's I tried to get dreadlocks, but they said I have to wait like three years to get it or something. Why? It says three years. You can't. They said I have to wait three years, and you know how my hair do. Every seven to out, my hair grow fast, back quick. Yo, I don't know who told you that, but that's a lot. You don't have to wait no three years to get no So money. how long you have to wait, like two years for that? Me, I started my hair with puff puffs, bro. I started my hair with dreads. But how long did it take you, like, your hair to, like, to grow out, like, like that, like that, like that? This, this is like, this is like going on two years. Okay, so it take you like two years. So what you just do? You just comb it or something, or? Nah, I 
I get it done. I get it retwisted. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but gonna um, I'm, I you know you know I left you know I left Manhattan man I was in Manhattan, uh what like Thursday like five something with my Where man, you at now? huh? Where you at now? I'm at home. I tell you I'm a, I'm up here. I'm at home. I mean I'm in Jamaica Avenue. I'm home. All right, all right. I'm home. I'm chilling man. I'm hit you up on I'm hit you up on your line after the thing. I'm hit you up on your phone after this thing is over. Nigga, I'm about to call this live screaming up. I'm, I'm telling you something, bro. I had to go deep tonight. I had to go deep with so many people because um, everybody got to let people know I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a game. I'm nobody to play with. Keep it, keep, keep, you know, possible. No, mm -mm, I don't got time for the coach, man. Mm -mm. And that, and I told my man, that's why people want to go to church because people keep forcing religion on people and people not, and people not feeling that, bro. Niggas don't want to hear that time. Like, what are you offering to people? My man can testify with that as a code. But when you got something going on with the community or jobs or programs, people will people will people will come to you. You don't have to to like force it. If they wanna follow you, they will follow you. You don't have to do things out of the out of your out of your your zone up there to get people to do that or try to fake the funk. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that at all. You really don't. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. Well, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna hit you up on your phone in a minute, bro. Be by your, be by your phone. I bet. Love you, bestie. Love you too, bro.